All right, what is good, everybody? Welcome, welcome to the Spiritual War Room. So I was pulling cards, kind of just meditating, because I'm thinking of doing um, videos on each of, well, not maybe not all of them, but four of Russell's accusers. Um, so if you're clicking on this, I'm, I'm assuming that you already know what's going on with Russell Brand. Um, so I, like I was, I wasn't planning on recording just yet, but I kind of wanted to have this down on, on video because I think this is an important thing to look at when looking into what went down between Russell and these, um, these women. Okay. So on Russell's side, I'm looking into the shadow attributes. So when I was pulling these cards, the question I was looking into was what was their shadow energy at the time of their encounter? Okay. So where were they energetically? And we're not, we're talking about the shadow, like the, the, the dark stuff that we don't always like to look at. Okay. Now on Russell's side, we have the shadow attributes of the guide and Don Juan. Okay. I think we already know that Russell admits to being very promis promiscuous um, during this time. Now the guide, the shadow attribute for the guide says, places financial gain and control over Im imparting spiritual insight. So I'm getting, I'm getting more with this, like the control. I have the I have the money, the power, and I can have the control over you. Shadow attribute for the Don Juan uses uh, uses the power of romantic attraction for private agendas. So he was very uh, Russell's very charismatic. He's he had you know he was very um, popular at that time. You know he had movies um, like big movies. He just, you know, there wasn't a, a there wasn't a, a lack of, of women who were willing to, who were drawn to him, okay? And he knew this, and so he kind of used that to his advantage, right? I'm getting, I'm getting, he liked to know that he had control over people. It was almost like, in the past, someone could have had control over him where in a, in a place where he felt, um, powerless. And it could have been like a guide, somebody who was trusted to guide him in some way. And that, you know, when, when people experience these types of, um, traumas, it, it kind of, it kind of does something to your brain, <laughs> you know? And you're like, I'm never, ever going to be powerless ever again right so this is the energy he was kind of acting out of at the time that this all went down let's look into where was the accuser at what energy were they acting out of at the time of this encounter okay and we're looking at shadow attributes and for for the for the uh first accuser who I'm going to call Jane Doe one. This is the one who, um, this is the accuser who, who claims that he, uh, sexually assaulted her in his LA home and that she had gone to, um, a crisis center that same day. Okay. So during the time of this encounter, where was this woman at for the shadow attributes? We have child orphan. Shadow attributes talks about feelings of abandonment that uh, that stifle maturation, seeking inappropriate surrogate families. So he's very charismatic. Oh, this person has some uh, abandonment issues. I can use that against or not against, but toward for my um, for my benefit, right? For the shadow attribute, we also have thief, stealing money, creative ideas, affection, or other powers you think you lack. This person could 
have wanted to take affection from him, right? I have abandonment issues. I'm seeking inappropriate um, family, surrogate families or partnerships, you know, because of these abandonment issues. Um, so they, like the Don Juan, this person can also um, try to manipulate situations so they can receive affection and you know whatever it whatever it may be okay and they do this because of they both do these things they acted out of a place of um their traumas okay so let's look into this let's look, let's look into this <coughs> The Knight of Wands. This is um, this could have hmm. this could have been something that happened in his childhood. It could have been someone that the family hired that abused this person. Places financial gain and control over, um, and control over imparting spiritual insight. Okay, I don't know why I keep going to like the past. This I keep wanting to go to the past. Like this is something that happened in the past, and he's acting this out in his relationships I'm gonna control you yeah I'm the boss I'm gonna control you This is like he's a you know the the king of swords is very he's very good with his words. I heard he could talk you out of your panties. <laughs> yeah. Um <coughs> <coughs> He liked control, like he liked to bind, bind people. Blindfold them too, they're both blindfolded. Okay. was he was rough he was rough he was
Hmm. He paid for this. some weird shit like playing out in my, in my mind surrounding this like it's almost like he was swapping in, in in how he played this out it's almost like he was swapping roles with his abuser and the way he treated the other person it's almost like he was doing it to himself. It, it, it's it's really strange. Yeah, like he that's what he paid for. It was like this I don't know. It was a job they he asked these women to do. It was, it's, it was like, it was his, it was like his own, some, it was like his own demons tormenting him. And it just, ugh. He tried to escape, um, through drugs, alcohol, and, yeah, his addictions. He was just really trying to figure out how to, um, he thought money was going to solve everything like once i have money once i have power it's going to it's going to fix my 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 demons but it just only made it worse for him he he found himself still trying to fight these demons it didn't matter how many women how many how much money how many how much drugs and alcohol he had it just wasn't helping him it, it was making it worse um the guide the light attribute says represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself spotlights your positive seductive qualities um i'm getting like he did, he did have, he threw himself into his, his spirituality. He says, represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself. He really found that within himself. Like he's, he's had to conquer those demons, man. He, he had to, it's like maybe he had to cut out certain things that, certain lifestyles that just kept, you know, going to clubs, you know, being around certain people, certain environments that had him always like defeated, you know, and that's why he has had victory and, and success because he's gone inward. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's look at the child orphan and the thief over here. This is Jane Doe 1. This is the first accuser who claims that he, that Russell Brand assaulted her in his LA home. Yeah, here we go. He was, she was hoping that he would give her love, affection. And he's not looking, remember again, I'm hearing again, too short, um, don't fight the feeling. You know, this isn't, you know, we're not making love here. You know, we're fucking, it's gonna be rough. Um, but she was hoping that, well, maybe if I give in to this, maybe, maybe he'll show me some kind of love. 
and only to find out like nah you know he he could have been really emotionally abusive again but i want to go back to like what what i was saying earlier it's almost like the, what he was doing to other people was like in his mind he was like playing it out on himself it was it's so strange to me see it could have been because like his father his father wouldn't show him any kind of love or support he was very cold to him and maybe his mother um and so he didn't know how to be warm you know this child orphan jane doe one over here is desperately looking for some emotional um affection right to to the point where they, they they were seeking it from people who couldn't who weren't able to offer that they she thought you know maybe if i do this maybe if i if i give in he'll see that i care but even that's the thief you know being being sneaky like maybe i can get the affection you know trying to you know, and this is really unhealthy, unhealthy, um, um, this is an unhealthy connection. The truth is he only wanted one thing. It wasn't anything that had to do with, um, emotions or feelings. This was all. You know, I pay you, this is what you, I want you to do. Okay. So, these are the energies that these two were, were, were um, acting out of during the time of this encounter, okay? So let's see what their relationship was like prior to this alleged sexual assault. What was their relationship prior? What was their relationship? What's the Knight of Swords? So this is someone, okay. This is, okay, so Russell could have been very, you know, reckless in how he approached people in the work setting, right? He was known around the world. He was very wealthy. And he was known even by his own companies, his own um, his own people. Like, if this is a, a business that hired him for a movie, for example, they, they knew how he was, okay? That he was very... Mm. just just really direct and very he could be reckless man the way he, he would act and they it was like they they, they allowed it as long as he was making them money they didn't they didn't care how he would behave um okay 
he offered um hold on maybe when he offered this proposal to her it was kind of shocking maybe she didn't know if she should because you know we work together what if somebody were to see us it could go good it could, go, could go good for me or it could go bad you know on the bright side if it goes good he has lots of money on the on the bad side if he doesn't want me I'm gonna be heartbroken and maybe I might have to like defend myself somehow so she was weighing her options she knew his reputation she knew that maybe it wasn't appropriate because it was a, you know, they work together. Mm. But she was weighing her options. She understood, you know, that there was pros and cons. If she, if she could manage to get those feelings out of him, she could be successful and maybe even, you know, have some kind of come up. However, if it didn't go her way, she would have these abandonment issues. She would be heartbroken. Yeah, she would. She was weighing her options at this time. So the the relationship there there can be between the two. She understood that he, you know, he he had a reputation. So when he asked her, you know, are you down? She had this moment of like, okay, shit, pros and cons. If I go, <laughs> I could have money and success and some kind of come up. If I, if it doesn't go well, I'm going to be heartbroken and alone. And I'm going to, you know, it's going to trigger these, um, abandonment issues. Okay. Um, hopefully, hopefully this is making sense. So let's look at this um, death card. What was the death card? <coughs> What's the death card? What's the death card about? Okay. As she was weighing her options, if it works out, this. If it doesn't, this. Um, she was thinking that it was going to be, you know, if I, if I accept this offer, she, okay, so she took the offer. She accepted the proposal only to find out that this is a Don Juan. He just wanted, you know, he uses his power of romantic attraction for private agendas. Once he gets what he wants, he's done, right? He ends it with her. Okay. And she was like, wait a minute, but we had such a good time. You know, we partied, we had fun. I let you tie me up. And then you just end it? And this guy's like, yeah. Okay. And this causes, t causes a tower moment for who? For who? For who? Who does it cause a tower moment for? Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Sorry, we we're looking into who the tower moment was for, right? There was like a, a fight with this person, with this partner in his home. There was some kind of um, argument. What is this argument about? What was this argument about? I'm getting 
that he could have like made them okay so his not <sighs> he could have been playing with their their emotions too the messages were mixed it, yeah like he could have been like confusing them he could have been confusing them about um, what it was not what it was like I think he told him told him told them the this woman what was what he wanted but he was like mixing it in with like oh you know making her believe that you know if she did give in to, to him that maybe he would settle down with her or you know something like that okay so let's look at this ace of swords this is the truth okay it was strategy to pay this person right it was She was weighing her options so it was it was a strategy of his to kind of let her know what it was that he wanted but also to kind of get her to believe that if maybe if she did this that it would go somewhere it would lead to something more so she was weighing this option because she's like I I've heard this guy has a reputation He's a little bit of a Don Juan, you know. Can I trust them? So she was strategizing too. He was strategizing how to get her to believe him that if she gave in to him, maybe it would lead to something more where we can live happily ever after. He might not have said that, but this is what was implied kind of in, in you know, he knows how to use the power of romantic attraction for personal, uh, per, private agendas okay that's the energy he was working out of um so that's what he was doing she was also juggling with the idea should i should i not if i do what can i get from it if i don't how is that gonna look it's gonna hurt my feelings a little bit because i already have abandonment issues so yeah um This is someone that he did work with. This is somebody that he partnered up with. When she went to his house, because that was what the next question I was going to ask. Um, <coughs> well, actually, what was proposed to her, to Jane Doe, and how did she feel on the way to Brand's home? She, she, she made up her mind, right? A, a judgment call was made I'm gonna do this because the wheel of fortune I, I I'm gonna take my chances I know I work with him um, I know that he's infamous for having like multiple lovers but he's a star so I'm gonna go to his house and I'm gonna partner up with him I'm gonna accept his proposal mm, okay so she did she accepted it so, did she feel pressured? Did she feel pressured at all? We have the, the hangman. <coughs> uh, she thought about it. You know, she, it was, it was something that was, he, he paid for, it was a, a, a proposal that he had made she thought about it the um the knight of pentacles is very slow these two these two um knights are very slow moving 
So it's not something that it was like, oh, well, I felt pressured and I had to go right then and right there. Um, it was something that I had time to like maybe consider, okay? It was only after I slept with him that I was sad because he told me, you know, that, <laughs> you know, he wasn't planning on settling down. He wasn't planning on, this is what it was, just me getting my getting my needs fulfilled just but justice came out it's like it's like you had time to to think this over if you wanted to accept this it's balanced you know it's not like this man rushed in and took what he wanted it was something that was it was slow she had time to think about it it, it was understood what was gonna come of it but again she was hoping in doing this that something more, you know, long term, maybe something, you know. She could get some some emotional energy from him, and that when that didn't happen, she was disappointed. Cause again, there could have been some kind of argument. <laughs> it's like. You know, she maybe maybe she wanted to cuddle with him afterwards, and he's like, "Nah, you know, call it, call an Uber and, and get." You know, and she's like, "What do you mean?" Yeah, like call someone, call someone to come pick you up. You can't stay here. She's like, "What are you talking about?" Like, I thought this was like I did what you wanted, and you know, he's like, "Yeah, and." <laughs> I have to go to work. You know, maybe he had another party to go to. You know, he, he's single. I, I have this great life and you're just here to... <laughs> this is... This is cold, man. But this is what happens when two unhealed people come together. One takes advantage or one, you know, one feel, you know, one... <sighs> this is crazy. So she understood what was what 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 it was when she went over. So let's see what happened um, between the two of them. Okay, what went down between the two of them? We're gonna use the tarot of sexual magic. What went down between the two of these people? What happened between the two of them? What went down between the two of them? started off kind of sweet <laughs> like just maybe caressing maybe feeding each other things very sensual and then the tower hit and then afterwards it was like this care like taking care Hmm. What happened? Taking care after. Like, all right, well, you can go on. <laughs> okay.
I'm getting like he could be very sensual, but there was something like just that can't he just couldn't he wouldn't allow people people to connect with him emotionally. No matter how much she tried, it's just like he wouldn't connect with her. Or, yeah, like emotionally. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. What happened at Bran's home between Jane Doe 1 and him? this four swords real quick was this because I'm noticing how he you know she's like covering him and he's uh he's kind of he's trying to open her mouth so let's see let's look at that role-playing I'm getting role-playing like I'm gonna pay you like and you're gonna you're gonna act like innocent I'm paying you right I'm paying you to act innocent This is, I'm paying you to act innocent and we're role playing that I'm violating you. That's what she was getting paid for. He didn't really need to do this there was enough women who would give themselves to him. It was the innocence, like again, going back to what I was saying before, like he was acting this out as if, you know, the, the, uh, Man, this is crazy. I hope this is making sense, but he would pay people to do this, to act this out with him, where they would act innocent. Oh, you know, um, and he would, it was, it was like they were playing this game where he would violate them. And he was acting this out as like from his childhood. Like, again, I want to have control over other people because I was not, oh, wow, this is a very unhealthy dynamic. Very unhealthy. On both ends, not just his, but hers too, because she was seeking inappropriate surrogate family. She was looking for something that was inappropriate because she needed something. She was lacking something. He was lacking something. They came together and they it was like very, very toxic, but she was paid so that way he could act these things out where she was like 
acting, you know, like this innocent person, and he would go in and violate her. That's what she was paid for. Wow, this is crazy. He had a lot of women. Like, he was, like, in this... Hmm. I did see he does maybe he does have a little bit of a god complex he might have a little bit of a god complex here hmm. wow he would try to it's Again, I'm getting 50 shades. It's almost like he would, like, tie them up, beat them, and just, like, do some, like, pretty, pretty crazy things. But then he would try to um, nurture them. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it was very sweet, you know. Like, here's a flower. I brought you a flower. It was almost like he was, like, he would do this, and then he would almost like fantasize about like coming to save them right they were heartbroken and they were hurt and betrayed and here he comes let me save you very I don't know like Or maybe that's what he, she wanted him to do. And he was like, no. I don't know. Yeah, like, look at all these women. This man, he's like, I have all these women. You know, you have to fight for... Like, he wasn't going to play lovey-dovey. Okay, he was... He would want... To make sure that they're okay, like they weren't, you know, really hurt. But he would really, like, I see the whip in his hand. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. That's what he was up to. It was like, and then afterwards, you know, even after the whip, he's like stroking her, but he has the whip in his hand. But... Even though, okay, so he could have been, like, really sweet and gentle. There's a s sweet and gentle side to him. But, again, that, that shadow side where he wants control over others. And he's, like, he's, you know, he uses the power of romantic attraction for private agendas. Getting people to, to think, okay, well, you have to fight for my affection. If you want me, you have to fight. Look at all these women. I have all these women throwing themselves at me. You know, if you want me, you have to fight. And that's what she was doing. Like, but when she realized, well, you know, I'm in competition with all these other people. It was like, almost like she wanted to get back at him. It's like, like, like you're keeping me a secret. I want to be the one, you know? Something like that. Again, sh um, stealing money, creative ideas, or affection. You know, she wanted his affection. And if you're not going to make me the number one, then... I don't know. If you're not going to make me the one, I'm going to tell everybody that you beat me. Even though I left... You know, we're both leaving, like, I'm getting, like, she left, I don't know, just, like, everything's fine, almost like he's the one, like, oh, where are you going? And she's like, I'm getting out of here, and she goes and tells people that he forced me to do this, he hit me, he, you know, abused me. I don't know, this is, oh my god. Okay, guys. We're already at 45 minutes. So, did she ask him to stop? Did she ask him?
to stop. They were... The moon, we were having a good time. We were chilling. And then we had some kind of argument. There was some kind of argument. What was this argument over? Why was she sad here? Why was she upset? Because she was hoping. She didn't know what what would come, what his decision would would be. Are you going to offer me this title, this position of being your girlfriend? And he's like, no. And so there was, she was upset. She was upset. That's when she went to the authorities or to the clinic. She drove to the clinic and told him what happened in this home that she was all stressed out. But this, she's not telling him everything. They're secrets. She's not telling him everything. Yeah, they're secrets. That she was waiting for, for some kind of offer and when she didn't get it, she told, she told them that, you know, she had an encounter with the devil. Hmm. Okay. So their time together. A lot of drinking. I mean, he wasn't drinking. They were hanging out, kind of. Everything was cool until it wasn't. You know, this is when they, they got to work. And then she's like, okay, well, I did all this. Are you gonna, you know, are we gonna go have breakfast, do something? And he's like, nope, called you a cab. Yeah, it was, she was sad because he, she wanted this emotion out of him. She's like, I put in that work. I let you do all this shit for me. And he's like, yeah, but I paid you for it to do this to you, to violate you, to, you know, to role play or to do all this. I don't know. This is some crazy shit. Okay. So final messages. What is it that we need to know when it comes to Russell Brand and Jane Doe One? What is it that we need to know? We have the tower. So Russell is going through this very, like, very difficult tower moment because of the past. His money's getting hit, and he's having to defend himself. Ooh, Spare's saying that justice is coming in. Justice is going to come in for him. Because the message is going to come, the, the message that the devil is spreading is, is going to come, um, the truth is going to come out about the message that this devil is spreading. What is this devil? Um, what can you tell me about this devil? What can you tell me about this devil? What can you tell me about this devil? These are the multiple people that are creating this conflict for him for mm, mm. this keeps coming out man spirit says stay strong success the truth is going to come out the truth is going to come out that you know yeah it might have been a little whatever they agreed to could have been dark but um you know they were both acting from dark places in there and in, within themselves at the time of this encounter the truth is going to come out that this was a um a pro it was consensual it was proposed it was accepted it was consensual with jane doe one um it just didn't work out the way she had hoped it was going to work out for her and um i think other um outlets media outlets took that to their used that to their advantage because you know when when we're angry and um when we're angry at, at someone who we felt up did us did us wrong you know 
sometimes we'd be more than happy to get back at them, even if it's a lie. Um, and I, I'm kind of getting the feeling that that's what happened here, you know? I'm not saying that just Russell Brand had um, childhood traumas. Um, this person, Jane Doe One, the first person, his first accuser um, had some stuff of her own that she was acting out in this connection. So, yeah, guys, that's what I have for this one. I hope this answered some of your questions. If there's anything else you guys want me to look into, add the questions in the comment box, the comment section down below. Yeah, guys, and um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to check out the description box. There's information down below. So you can contact me if you want to schedule your own personal readings. Okay, guys? But if not, and this is where I leave you, I'll see you guys next time.